Here we go, three games left today. It's gonna to be Japan against Korea at the race course International Stadium here in Colombo of the final leg of the 2018 Asia Rugby Seven Series. Japan just stacked with quality. It's hard to pick a name really, but if we're gonna to have to do that, Motomura Nakano scored a hat-trick in his earlier game today. Katsuyuki Sakai, the man at the heart of everything. And the Koreans, well, it's an experimental side with university players. Only really Andre Kokolard with a lot of experience at this level. There he is taking the ball, number one. And this is a big ask for the Koreans. Their third squad that they've run out over three tournaments, almost three separate, entirely separate squads. Hard to get any consistency with that sort of selection policy. Craig Chan from Hong Kong is our referee. In Japan, while well, they're looking to sew up the series. Just wait for my whistle to chase it behind. Okay, wait, wait. They won the first two legs, both against Hong Kong. Hong Kong have a chance, only if someone can do them a favor and somehow beat this Japanese machine who are preparing for their re-entry into the World Series in November. And these young fellas here, they went down in a screaming heap. Earlier on today, 34-5, smashed by the Philippines, which may raise a few eyebrows. Kokolad goes up high and that's not been handled by every, anyone. So Achima it is, brings the ball away. Seven tries to him in the last leg. Danger man, Nakazawa, steps twice off the right, beats two, beats Kokolata a second time, beats Son Minki, takes on Kokolata three times. Here is Sakai, the little general, gets ridden by Lee Kwong Hwan. And watch the Japanese, well they just work their way downfield. Motomura to Soachima, calls Motomura around the back. And this huge man takes on Kokolart, straightening. Look at the support play here, and it's Fukumoto. Great tackle coming in from Kang, but Soachima's on his shoulder. Another try on the series for this prolific scorer. Each year they bring one or two players who are just unstoppable. And he's fit, and he's always there and the 11th try of the series that's impressive could be mvp for the series who knows but an early score to japan well it'd be hard pressed not to be the mvp for the series soy Gemma, sakai straightforward conversion for him soy Gemma, though he makes so much play and look at him supporting here. He's just on hand. He's been involved in the build-up of this particular try at least three or four times. He certainly started the ball rolling when he picked up the loose kickoff. And he's an impressive player. Mainly because of the very, very calm way he goes about his business. And a very, very low error rate. Look at that from Sakai. You couldn't have got it closer to the 10 metre with a tape measure and a level. Chan penalises the Koreans at the restart. And look at this wave of attack. No one's going to stop them. He had options inside and outside. And in the end, he just set the dial for the sun and dots it down. Gives the thumbs up to all the runners, I guess. Eighth try in the series for him. It's a guy. We've seen him do it time and time again. Just quality touches every time he gets near the ball. That's two there. 14 now for Japan. Two converted tries. Very, very, very classy work from Japan the build up there it is shows it and well we know that the Koreans love to get themselves up to play against Japan 
But if they're going to keep selecting squads that make it difficult, then Japan will have absolutely no problem at all putting them in the box. But look. Here comes Kang. What about this one? Oh, from his own 22. What about this guy? He's got Sakai to beat. And Sakai, well, he's too wily to be beaten on the outside like that. Here goes Son. And this could be try of the tournament if they could somehow finish something here. Here's Shin. And the... Oh, look at Sarachima comes flying in there. J Japanese defence is all back, though. They're in line. And... Now, it's business as usual as Son comes into the action for a second time. Nakano is going to make easy work of Son Touch. there. And in the end, they did track back well and they worked hard on defence for each other. And that's the sign of a championship side. Gee whiz, they just really did have to hustle then, didn't they? This Japanese side as we... Watch the closing moments and eventually reconstructed the defence and managed to shut Korea down. Two and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Low clockwork, that line out. Sakai to Nakano on the wraparound. Here's Motomura. They're hustling their way downfield now. There's a big hit coming in from you over the top. He looked like a man who's enjoying his work out there. Nakazawa to Soachima. He takes on the bump and gets the arms free, and he gets off the ground and puts run around the back of the belt. <laughs> Magical stuff. He's all about pace, power, deception, fit. Look at this. And hats off to the Koreans here for so far sticking to task. But Motomura. Finally gets on the outside, and he won't be caught by Lee. Then that was that was a bit of showmanship, wasn't it, by the Japanese? Well, probably the first time we've seen something like it from Japan, but they've given the ball plenty of air. Soyjima, when you saw the ball around the back, he immediately knew he hadn't done a very good job. He went back and cleaned it up superbly. Motor Mura motors in for another try today. He scores more. Adds another one to his tally for the series and what about that for a conversion. Three converted tries to the middle now. Just a straight run this time for Naoki Motomura. Oh how he was thwarted in Hong Kong. Mainly by Chinese Taipei. So Achima just gets up after that and contests in the air. That's a tough call there because there was no one to come around behind. There was just there wasn't a ruck or a mall. Strange call. They go for touch. Will they get the lucky bounce? Oh yes. It's Richard Mawanga up at Loftus last Sunday, Saturday. It's exactly the same kick. And here's the Huda. They look dangerous on one occasion. You're up against probably the best defence in the business. And when you've just come together as a bunch of young men to try First and take backwards. on the best, Second forward. things don't just happen by magic. It just takes a couple of breaks by a couple of talented ball runners they've got out there, but playing as a team is a different matter and this is a Japanese side that's eased its way through this series after that loss in Indonesia to Hong Kong in the Asian Games gold medal final they took that on the chin and they've just built them back slowly up through this series looking to take this with a queen sweep as we look at Soachima's try Here goes the try by Sakai. And the final try to Motomura there. Three good tries, all converted. Yeah. 
1917 they're also empowering our homes and empowering our lives with fast pace why don't you follow us on facebook the facebook if you've heard of that if you've got yourself an account we are at asia.rugby get on there jam-packed with news videos highlights previews of tournaments from all levels of rugby across Asia at each tier. And some great images being thrown up also on Asia Rugby Live. It is the one-stop shop for great images from the tournaments under the management of Asia Rugby. And of course, we are on Twitter at Asia Rugby. Send us a tweet, or if you're following us on Facebook right now, Leave us a comment. And, yep, Japan up by three tries. Well, they just continue on their way, don't they? This Japanese side. There's ten play. Beautifully played Four back. They're on the front foot again, Boozer. Yep, here they come, Sakai. Just steady things in the middle. He sizes the situation up just like the Terminator. Looks ahead, sees what's happening, and just invariably makes the right decision. And this time he noticed that the space was back on the left side. He brings it back to the left. Floats one over to Nakazawa, and he helps himself to an easy one thanks to his skipper, who has the vision to put players away. Had a bit of work to do, of course. It wasn't a straight run in. Nicely finished fourth try to Japan. Well, I'm sure they'll be delighted about taking the first score directly after the break and. Sakai lands another conversion. Four converted tries now. He heads to the beach. Just look at that. I mean, we're not talking about electrifying pace, but heads up ability, a change of balance, just a move of the weight. He's waited for the defender to overcommit and then made career pay. Looks like. Ryoto Kano is on for Sakai, who's played his last bit of code for today. He's preparing himself for tomorrow. And he have one thing on his mind, and that is clean sweep of the series. Little knock on by the Koreans. There's big Andre Kokola. Such a young man that he carrying a lot of responsibility for this young chop Korean side. Oh, we had a nice chat with Andre oh, last night over dinner and he's just so committed to being in that Korean shirt. He's really the kind of guy you just about Fine. walk over broken glass to play Set. rugby with. Yeah, so proud said. of that Korean jersey. He wants everybody he plays rugby with Four. feel the same way. Yep, it was playing as professional rugby for Come back on. Seattle and the Major League yeah. Rugby tournament in the United States. All the way to a very successful start this Five. season. And Seattle Set. claimed the title. So Kokolad is a baller. Motomura gets taken low by Lee Kun Hwan. There's players coming from all over the place at the moment. Dayazawa, he's on in six. So Ajima, just so casual. Takes on Kokolad, takes in two tacklers, most importantly, and gets the pass away. That's his job, and that's what happens. They create space somewhere else, and Nakano goes in. He's the one flying the flag for Japan today. Hat trick in the earlier game. <laughs> well, 
Japanese. On the verge of ticking up another converted try. And they have looked so impressive today. As we see them, and that's just the finishing part, but look at them. Beautiful footwork. Half a gap. They've stayed off him just long enough for him to get the forward momentum. And when he got into gear, well, virtually unstoppable. Kano's not gone the 10. So, just a couple of metres in it. That's where Sakai gets them right every time. Incredibly, Korea have turned into pretty much passengers here. 35 points to nil. Yeah, suddenly blown out. They looked like they were going to score a phenomenal try in the first half, going 80 metres through that man there, Lee Gion. Here's Yu Jae-hun now. Look how hard Sawajima goes. He just gives you nothing. And they're very deep, the Koreans. No one coming on until Not going to be an H. finally it's Park Rubin decided to Get Best things forward, moving forward. He was dispossessed in the tackle. He's a young man for the future, apparently. Well. Here he goes. He's got a couple of Japanese all over him. Walloping him from behind. A good advantage there played by referee Chan. It's been a bit of a find. This young fella, Canadian born from the Hong Kong Referees Crouch. Society. Fine. He's Set. managed this game well. He's Here we go, it's Noguchi and he just sails through a gap. The yawning gap opens in front of him there. Shin's not going to catch him. <laughs> And straight from the scrum there. You don't often see that, but that's absolute gas from Yoshihiro Noguchi, fresh on the park. Haven't seen much of him, have we? His first try of the series. He was a big contributor last season. I'm getting the feeling there's just a few of these names starting to drift back into the Japanese equation at the moment. They've got a World Series not far off starting. This is the conversion attempt misses. So there'll be some guys willing to take the opportunity to get some minutes in the legs. But look at this. Whoa. They're in a way. And you'd have to say that's legs that have been out there for less than a minute versus legs that have been out there for most of the game. Remarkable. 40 points to nil. Kokula. Oh, what's going on here? Well, thanks, mate. I think will be the call. I got yeah, that report. was the old we try miracle right there. I'm afraid. Every chance going to have. I don't see anything. Can you tell me what do you see? Bit of a chat now with his AR. Let's see what Lay the charge. upshot yeah. of this okay. is. Right here. Yeah. So where did it land? Shoulder, head, yeah. or body? No, no, my body. Body. Uh, that's a uh, penalty. So the just a penalty only. Okay, where's the markers? Yeah, this one. Oh, on the 15. Yeah. Okay, thank you. High contact. Five red. He's a bit pin. reckless, okay, aren't he? There's a shot that's penalty gone scores. in. Just for a lay head. Not sure exactly who he's signalled out for that, but it might have been Suijima. Yeah, number five, Suijima, by the looks of things. One for the rope. Gets away with anything stiffer than a penalty. One. Look how keen Kokolard is there. He's not happy with this. Time's up on the clock. They're 40 nil down. And he wants points for his Korean side. And that's not how they're going to get them. Here goes Noguchi again. So Ajima, he's gone the full 14 once again. 
Yeah, a little bungle there the as the ground. ball got tied up in Motor Mirror's feet. So Mr. Chan calls this one to an end. 40 points to nil. And, well, Japan, they've put on 101 points in their two games today. And they have conceded zero. They are the scroogiest defence you'll find on day one. And they've come away here with another big score. 40 points to nil. And they stride forward into day two with momentum and the wind at their back and the sun on their faces. We saw some absolutely brilliant tries. Motor Murray here motoring away 